I gotta take some video of this. This man is using that steel piece of equipment. It's called a suyot to level out the ground. So we're going from low level to a little bit higher for the water can uh, come down to the canal because we just made this canal. So we're gonna have it to where it's elevated in the back and it comes in a downward uh, angle. I wouldn't call it a slope. So we got this carabao that's leveling this topsoil and this is pretty good because he's doing a good job this is awesome so after the fill loader was able to spread the bounds that the trucks downloaded into this lot we have this carabao leveling the earth okay so we're going in a in a downward angle and it's like degrees from higher to lower where the water can come down and once the sun really beats down on this land and the soil it'll become hardened but maybe these next days I told him that we got to get a piece of wood so we can plane plane the soil so it'll be nice and flat basically like the job of a roller or a pison in Spanish or Filipino because it's the same word it's a, a roller like the heavy equipment which is not so good because that compact compacts it so much so if you want to plant grass, the the earth becomes so compact that it's actually not good. When you're doing any type of lawn work, you can use a manual roller, but they say not to use it a lot. So like we're gonna run a piece of wood, a slab, better, so we can level out the earth. And we're gonna hook it up to the uh, carabao, so you can continue flattening the soil. And once the the sun, cause it's it's rainy season. When the sun comes down often and enough, within a couple weeks, this will become like really, really hardened. And one thing I do have to do though is take out a lot of these stones. Not all of them, but at least the big ones. So this is the Filipino man here working on the land with that suyot. And this other piece of equipment, he was able to break down some of the high, high mounds to make it even. So this is like the third day of him doing this. Because they lumped, they they dumped uh, 280 cubits, which is 22 trucks of topsoil. We had two tops, two loads of sand and 20 loads of topsoil. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. And they're gonna put the gate here shortly. I'm getting it done. The steel gate. They're manufacturing it. The welders are. I bought the the. Um, I bought the, whatchamacallit, the materials for that, and they're getting that done. They're going to continue doing the grills. And they're also smooth coating the fence to protect it against the elements, the rain and stuff. Protects the fence that we built, made out of hollow block, which I increased the amount of cement. So I, I made 55, 45 to 55 blocks. I think it's 50 to 55 blocks out of one bag, where it's usually like 75. I had it where they poured more cement into the sand so they could give me higher uh, strength, uh, better quality hollow block for this for this fence. Before it was nothing, now this is what we have done in like two and a half months. Alright, peace.